I woke up in the sand of La Plage d'Andai. I still have to touch the water. I just put on my shoes, so here we go. It will take me over a month to reach the Mediterranean Sea. 800 kilometers over the high mountains of the Pyrenees. <laughs> this is really overgrown trail. There is a horse. That's the first real mountain. Whoa. That is just so crazy that a few hours ago I was still standing on top of that mountain. I bought a lot of food in Handai. After the lunch break I continued. But it was very hot and no water to be found. Holy and moly. After 30 kilometers on day two, I pass through a graveyard and finally reach a water source. Big contrast to the weather yesterday. Here it's very foggy and very humid. It's very beautiful to see all these different climates. And finally, I reach the real top of this mountain. That's the village named Aldudas. I buy some food, call my girlfriend and hike a bit more. Aldudas, which also marks the end of section 1 out of 13 uh, of the HRP White Burn Pocket Guide. But I think everyone I run into is doing the Cicerone Tom Martens guide. And which, well, first of all, hike your own hike. Yeah. 
Yes. Pretty tough day. That nice view from last night, I am about to climb it. Climb this freaking mountain. Huge vulture. So I can put on my uh, sun gloves. I'm very happy I uh, brought them last minute. It's very super necessary. I cut my hand. So yesterday it was really hot, but I did not take it easy because we're in Spain, so it's always hot. And then if every day is hot and every day I take it easy, I will never get to the Mediterranean Sea. So, <laughs> well, it turns out the weather is not always nice. I woke up pretty soaked because I'm in a rain cloud. And now just above the clouds, that's amazing. Well, that's not amazing, that's insane actually. That's pretty insane. And of course, the sheep beat me to it, they reached the top first. Yesterday was a big day, uh, big ups and downs. Well, let me start with the down. My camera broke. Uh, we were walking in the clouds, but then I took it out to film the Irish guy, uh, put it back on my uh, shoulder strap, tried to turn it back on for the next shot and it just, it completely stopped working. Uh, uh, it completely sucks. Uh, I, it's definitely the biggest setback so far. But 
hey, I still have this this cheap phone what, that I can film on. I'm trying to dry the camera today as much as possible in the sun. I already accepted it that it won't start working again. But anyway, I am a fighter and I am a finisher. I will finish this true hike no matter what. This is the most beautiful part by far, so far. I decide to go off-route and climb a bit higher. Gosh. Who dares gets rewarded. Holy! With a view like this, I really wanted to try my camera. Yes! 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 Just in time with this view, I find out that not the whole camera is broken. I found out that it's still working and 15 minutes ago I was still in the clouds. I was totally getting soaked. I was afraid, well, where can I set up a tent? Everything will get soaked again. Holy and moly! Look at that! I'm gonna, I'm just gonna camp here. The weather is nice up here. Way above the clouds and the thunderstorms. Holy! On top of the world! Yes! Oh. 